your story where you grew up and experiences. So I'm originally from Croatia and uh, I went to elementary school, then I went to high school for four years. The high school was language high school, so focusing on English, German, Latin and Croatian of course. But after high school I went and I went to college for six years. I have a master's degree in sociology in um, consumerism, consumer culture, uh, inter international um, relate uh, yeah international relations, human resources, um, but mostly consumerism and capitalism and stuff like that. And then after that, I started studying energy work and psychology and I studied psychology for a long time, unions, union archetypes and shadow work and I've done a lot of shadow work on myself. I've experimented with psychedelics and then learned about that. That led me to herbalism. I studied herbalism for a few years. I'm still studying herbalism and herbalism led me to the elements and then after that I discovered human design I've studied human design right now I'm learning about sound healing frequencies tuning forks for the nervous system qigong yoga holistic stuff practical stuff anyways qigong mostly so energy energy movement uh, lymph I'm learning a lot about biology. I grew up um, in a very small city in Croatia and I went to the capital of Croatia to study sociology. My mom, I grew up, I was born in 1991 at like the end of the war in Yugoslavia and Croatia and everything. So um, we grew up like pretty poor and then my father went to work for went to work abroad in the Middle East to um, save up money so we can buy a car and an apartment and for my college so we, he was sort of away for a lot of, a lot of my childhood was raised mostly by my grandmother and my mom so um, I definitely feel that I lacked some of the male model guidance growing up I found uh, my role models like that in in many like highly evolved people I feel that I follow great people in my in my social media and everything looking for influences um, like really good role models male role models um, my experiences through college I struggled so both of my parents smoke a lot they both uh, drink every single day they eat very dense um, dense foods I've tried to make them less addicted to these things and like uh, like I'm, ba I'm basically doing everything that they're not doing so they're not moving their bodies they're not doing any restorative yoga stuff they're not and I'm trying to push all these things and try to influence them but I've, I've given up a long time ago and I've lived my whole life as a secondhand smoker of like two packs a day and I I went through a lot of um, I drank a lot in my adolescence, like a lot. I smoked a lot. I smoked so much weed in my life that I could probably own a house in Bali right now. I struggled with a lot of addictions, so uh, weed, cigarettes, alcohol, um, sex as well, like, uh, you know, the hookup culture trying to hook up as many as with as many women as possible um, uh, going from one relationship to another from one partner to another um, I've been into the in this hip-hop culture before I went all hippie but I'm not I know ne I never left the hip-hop culture it's just that I've sort of embraced all the worst things like 
spill a little liquor for your homies and all this. Oh my god, I don't know. Um, it brought me a sense of togetherness with the community, but it of course, for, of course brought a lot of self-destructive behavior, like getting drunk every Friday and Saturday and so drinking and smoking and like one big bottle of wine on my I like I used to go outside and before we go to the club I used to drink like one whole wine myself and then smoke one joint and then get like six beers in the club and then another joint and then oh my god and then after that, eat like two burgers, and, and the next day I'm just a fucking vegetable, I'm just... But at the moment it was like, I'm gonna live forever, and I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm, I was wasting my life like this. And then... Yeah, it was one, then, then addiction next to another, and, and then another, and then another, and then video games, and... Porn, and... Oh my god, like I was... Like... Ugh. And then it, it, it came to a point where I was living alone and I started feeling all these aches and pains in my body and slowly, slowly, slowly I started getting into uh, shedding all these addictions, quitting weed, quitting dense foods, going more uh, hydrating, more healthy, more movement. Um, and yeah, that's how I got into herbalism, holistic stuff, movement. And I still have some addictions. Although, I haven't had a single... I think it's been like two years since I had drank something. And the thing I drank was like one shot at New Year's Eve. And before that, it was like one year of nothing as well. So I've been alcohol free for a lot of years. I haven't smoked weed in at least two years and when I smoked it last it wasn't smoking it was in a tea cigarettes for many many years um, there's also something very weird that might be weird for you I also practice semen retention so I haven't ejaculated in almost half a year and a half so, like, all my seed from the last year and a half has been circulating through my body. So I'm, so I'm, I'm doing that as well. So it's a very interesting thing. Um, I do have a partner. We do engage. We make love. But I don't ejaculate. I circulate it through the body. So that's a thing as well. I still play video games sometimes, to just kick back and relax. It's sort of more like a community-based thing, because I speak with my uh, friends back home. But slow and steady, I think I'm gonna quit that as well. Um, because one drop of uh, sperm is equal to like 50 drops of blood, so your body needs a lot of energy to produce uh, your sperm and the more you circulate it the stronger it becomes the better it becomes and you can just look up semen retention benefits and you can also look at like how does a person feel after they ejaculate they feel depleted they feel they want to sleep they feel very sluggish for a few days and if you ejaculate a lot you start losing your hair um, you start lo it's like electricity but then on the other hand if you don't ejaculate you have so much electricity that it's sometimes like my electrical charge if I don't do anything with it, so it's creative energy. So the same semen that would for, uh, impregnate uh, a woman and make a baby, that's so powerful. That's like the essence of life. And if you don't release it, and if you circulate it, 
it's almost like it's it's being like it needs to go somewhere so i need to do a lot of artwork i need to exercise a lot i have so much energy it's like yeah essence of life and if you don't use it it's sort of like you're being plugged into this electrical socket that is forcing you to use this energy so that's my path i'm 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 trying to clear out my addictions because i grew up in that sort of environment um had a lot of relationships some were good some were turbulent had a lot of friends um lost a lot of friends um i was mostly an outsider i was bullied a lot when i was a, when i was a kid because i was different um and then yeah so <laughs> basically when covid hit and all this stuff hit and it was like oh my god you need to get the shot or else the society is not gonna um accept you and i was like hmm that's nothing new guys that's nothing new um so it's always been quality over quantity for me as well like i've never been good at very, very very like very big groups of people and trying to fit in i always went against the grain and uh yeah thank you for listening to my ted talk Thank you guys for watching the video i hope that was helpful in some form or fashion leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel i do daily videos daily live sessions on the insight timer app if you go to the link in the description or the link up above here you can join our monday to friday q a sessions on the insight timer app it is completely free we talk about holistic healing, psychotherapy, emotional health, mental health, the human design system, and energy work, aura and biofield. If you're having anxiety, depression, relationship problems, energy blockages, if you would like to know more about the human design system, come join us and become part of a huge, beautiful, supportive community of like-minded individuals join my consciousness bubble and come into this cycle of abundance with me if you are new to human design make sure to click the link in the description to go to my website where I, where I have put my ebook called initiation into human design how to get started it is a guide for people who are new to human design who would like to learn more but don't know where to start it's a step-by-step -step program completely free for you to download the website is called icreatelines.com you can also find it in the description or by clicking the link somewhere in the edges of this video i want to thank you for listening for taking this time to spread awareness for yourself for your health I'm a holistic therapist, holistic practitioner, human design coach, and a psychotherapist. If you would like one-on-one -on -one private sessions, therapy sessions with me, you can also find them on my website. I would like to wish everyone peace, health, and abundance, and I will see you either in the next video or on my live sessions on Insight Timer. Peace, health, and abundance.